Let's talk about some simple and tiny study habits that can help you become good at math. Hi, my name is Han. I went to Columbia University and I majored in math and engineering. Based on my rough calculation, I have studied math for over 7,500 hours. And these five tiny habits that I'm going to share with you have made a huge difference in my studying and helped me get good grades in some of the toughest class at Columbia. So I'm pretty sure they can help you too. The last habit is also my secret studying tip that I can ace on my math exams. So make sure to watch until the end and let's just get into it. The first one is take 10 minutes every day to memorize all the basics like equations, functions, definitions, rules, or even arithmetic. So in my opinion, in math, memorization is kind of unnecessary because you can prove everything. If you really want to, you don't even have to memorize one plus one equals to two because there are literally 162 pages of proof to prove that. But in math studying, memorization does have a very important role because it can save you time. So if you want to become good at math, you kind of need to be very familiar with all the basic things so that when you see a question, you can just be very quick and recognize all the basic things and use all those tools without needing to think about it too hard. This way you can truly focus on the complicated questions and the problem solvings so you don't have to spend time to think about the basics that you can just memorize. If this is like the core concept or the core definitions that the entire chapter is based on that you know it's gonna be show up in basically most of your questions just take a little bit of time to memorize that if you're learning about a new concept at the first time i do always recommend you to understand it first for each question you got wrong, write a little note of why you made the mistake. So if you get a question wrong, don't get sad because all the questions you did wrong are gold. It's way more valuable to identify your blind spot and learn from your mistakes than always keep trying to learn more stuff. So during college, I used iPad to do all the studying. Whenever I got something wrong on my homework, quizzes, or practice exams, I would take a screenshot of that question and copy and paste in a separate notebook, which I called the mistake notebook. I always made sure to write the correct answer next to it and if it's not clear i will write a note to explain why i made the mistake each question doesn't take me that long just take me a couple minutes but this habit not only helped me to learn from my mistake immediately but also before my exams i can just review everything in this one notebook that just saved me so much time i actually started doing this back in middle school through high school but Back then, I was actually physically cutting all the papers and then glue it to a separate notebook. Now I do think that takes too much time and maybe not the best move to cut all your papers. If you don't use an iPad, I recommend having a system to mark and collect all the questions you did wrong. You can just put a sticky note and marking it and make sure to collect all your papers, like putting them in a folder. When we're studying math and we run into a problem, our natural reaction sometimes is to look it up online. Like we have all those YouTube videos and now we have so many AI resources. But what I do is I really fight that urge and I do not do that. So whenever I run into a problem, I will just simply write that down and make a note about it. And I will just collect all the questions and come back to them all together later. This not only saves me a lot of time because I'm just batching all my tasks, but also it really helps me to be more focused because math does require a more focused brain to do all the complicated problem solving which is pretty cool because when i study math i sometimes experience this state called flow which means we're so focused and basically performing our best that sometimes we lost track of time. I have taken the Math Putnam competition, which is a six hours exam that has like two, three hour sessions. I'm not kidding you. I experienced some of the fastest time in my life. By the end of that three hours exam, I was like, holy cow. I didn't even realize the three hours just passed by because I felt like I just started working on the questions. So start building the habit of a very focused study session. And one thing that has helped me so much is to listen focus music while I'm studying. So back when I was in college, whenever I study, I always turn on the focus mode on my phone and then I listen to focus music as well. And recently I have discovered this app called Soundscape and I have been using it since. So Soundscape is this app 
app that has a bunch of music that are proven can help you to study and focus better. You can also choose different type of music for different type of work. My favorites are always the nature sounds. There is truly something about listening to the sound of raindrops, thunder, and crackling wood fires that they just make me feel so calm and content. So now whenever I'm studying, I will just start a studying session and I will just put my phone aside. I won't touch it and I'll be very focused in my studying. I am not joking. I actually really looking forward to studying now because I always just make a little fun drink and I would just turn on the nature sounds. It's just such an enjoyable experience. It's also really satisfying to see the accomplishments after I finish a studying session and Soundscapes helps you keep track of your progress so you can see how much you dedicated to study each week, which is very motivating. The app is completely free to use if you have an Apple Music or Spotify account. If you don't have an account yet, they also offer one month free of Apple Music in collaborations of Apple. So I highly recommend you to go check out Soundscape and just try it out in your next studying session. I personally have loved it. The link is in my description. And thank you so much Soundscape for sponsoring this video. The next one is knowing when to pivot or giving up. So whenever I do a math question, I always try hard to solve it by myself first, but I never linger on one single question for too long because our time is precious. And if we spend way too much time on one single question and still get it wrong, that can be an extremely negative experience. Math is already difficult enough. We don't have to make it harder for ourselves. So if I don't know how to do a question or I know I'm nowhere near close to cracking the answer, I would just mark it down and make sure to ask someone later, like a friend or my teacher. While you're waiting for someone to get back to you, you can just move on to the next question. What really matters is that eventually you know how to do this question. No matter how you absorb the information, it doesn't always have to be you personally cracked it the first time you try it. So we can distribute our time more efficiently and also have a better experience with math. The final one, if we don't have a lot of time, instead of sitting down and actually writing out the question and do all the calculations, we can just run through how to do the question out loud and explain it to ourselves. If you run into any confusion or like you kind of stuck at a point, then actually look into it and make sure that you can explain the whole thing, the whole logic to yourself. This will just help you go through way more questions in a short period of time. I have been doing this forever because sometimes I just don't feel like pull out a pen and paper and it's especially good for revision before exams especially if you have a lot of questions that you want to kind of go through and it's impossible to write every single one of them down so you can just speak out loud and review all the question types and test yourself to see if there are any knowledge gaps so those are the tiny habits that i have been doing with my math studying if you have any habits or tips that you think have been helping you with math leave it in the comments i would love to see them again if you want to try out soundscape the link is in my description i just think it will really help you with focusing i hope this video is helpful if you're interested in becoming good at math i have another video on how I become good at math over here if you would like to see it. Bye!